Hey, how's it going everyone? This is Ajab here. In today's video, I want to talk about mining and also the flight model for 3.5. So this is on the PTU and where I'm going to right now is basically the moon walla because I wanted to see what type of minerals there are out there and how much the minerals actually sell for. So that's what I've been trying for a couple of days now and I've been <laughs> unsuccessful on all of my attempts for various reasons and I can kind of show you that at the end of this video because I actually just randomly died at the end of this video but the prospector is the only ship right now that we can actually use for mining so i went ahead yet again over to walla and seeing if i can actually complete an entire mining session uh it's actually a bit difficult uh, to mine without the sun so you always have to fly to an area where the sun's out because it just gets really dark and you really can't see what you're doing without the sun one of the things that's really annoying right now is that because the scanner takes up the entire interface once you're in scanning mode you really can't see how fast you're going and also like you can't fine tune your controls so that when you actually try to slow down you kind of have to do a little bit of guesswork in order to try to slow down so it's actually very easy to overshoot where you actually want to stop a lot of times i will try to slow down a little bit ahead of time but it's been a very cumbersome learning experience once you kind of get used to it you can kind of fine tune where you want to slow down and get an idea one of the things that i have been trying with the prospector is that once i get to an area that i want to be i go ahead and go to landing mode just so that the prospector isn't as twitchy and the thrusters are pointed down so it should give me a little bit easier on lift now once you actually find a rock that you want to mine what you'll see is that you have to get really close to that rock in order for your laser to work i feel like the laser the distance for that laser isn't as far as it used to be but you kind of have to creep up on it because it's very easy to overshoot your rock if you if you aren't really paying attention to your thrusters again being in landing mode allows you to kind of slow things down so that it's a little bit easier to sneak up on that rock but once you actually get the mining going it goes fairly quickly it goes about the same speed as you would do on any type of mining sessions in 3.4 one of the things that's new to the flight model is that you know there's always constantly momentum working on your craft so you're constantly fine tuning you know whether you're going forward backwards or you're moving laterally so you're constantly twitching your controls in order to stay just in one spot in fact it's almost impossible to stay in just one spot so now you're trying to concentrate on three different things you're trying to keep your ship from moving you're trying to aim the laser properly and you're also looking at the bars a lot of people would like this type of gameplay because there's a lot of stuff going on all at once but i feel like after doing this like 30 or 40 times it's just going to get a little bit annoying um the mining aspects of it really hasn't changed all that much once you break the rock up you can easily collect it you just have to be a little bit careful in terms of how you move your ship around in order to collect the materials it can be very twitchy if you're not in landing mode but this is only when you're actually on a planet if you're on an asteroid belt it's significantly better but as you can see i'm moving around i can easily kind of just creep up on the rocks and then collect it one of the major problems that I'm running into right now is that as I'm trying to do all of this mining stuff on the PTU, I have yet to successfully complete an entire mining session. In other words, mine it, get it all the way back to a station and then sell it. There's always something that has gone wrong. Whether it's a disconnect or me randomly dying, I just haven't actually been able to complete a successful session. So I don't really know how much this actually sells for. So that's one of the things that I'm hoping to actually get done on the PTU. But it's been really frustrating trying to complete an entire video of a mining session and showing you how much this material actually sells for. Hopefully they will continue to work on bugs and fine tune the flight model for the prospector in terms of mining because I feel like it's a little bit twitchy right now. I don't think a lot of people are concentrating on what mining feels like in the flight model. It's definitely a lot different than what I expected expected so i'm going to continue to play around with it and hopefully it gets better as more patches come out that's all i got to report for this video thank you so much for watching if you have any questions or feedback please leave in the comments below and i will see you in the next video thank you so much for watching if you like this type of content please subscribe to the channel as we will be covering all things star citizen if you have any questions or recommendations please leave it in the comments below we greatly appreciate new subscribers as this will allow us to create more content in the future that's all i have thank you so much and i will see you in the next video